everyone hates Tesla. Another one, Tesla, the name that's becoming synonymous with innovation in the future. But what drives the company forward? At the helm, it's Elon Musk, a visionary who has disrupted industries from electric vehicles to space exploration. But his next big investment in bet is artificial intelligence. Musk believes AI is the ultimate key to Tesla's future, and he's investing heavily to make it reality. From self-driving cars to robotic automation, Tesla's entire ecosystem is geared to become one of the world's most advanced AI-driven companies. Autopilot is just the beginning. Tesla's AI and benches and benches go beyond cars. Meet Optimus, the robot, must envisions as a helper in every home and factory. And together, these innovations form a foundation for a future where automation is everywhere. And we're not just building cars, baby. We're building a world where technology enhances our daily lives and AI will be at the heart of it. Today, we're going to be going over the video about the all-out war that Tesla has in AI. Shout outs to Tesla Space and let's get active. Elon Musk is all in on AI. This has been a long time coming, but it's particularly over the past year that we've seen the key focus at Tesla transition from sustainable energy to real world artificial intelligence. And that all culminated at the WeRobot event, Tesla's first big product reveal in a very long time. But this one wasn't actually about the physical product itself. The CyberCab is just a delivery method for the real innovation, the self-driving AI. We are on the edge of a fundamental shift in the tech world, the kind that only happens once every 20 years or so. The last time this happened was in the early 2000s, when technology changed from being something that you use at home or at work to something you interact with all day, every day. You would never leave home without the latest and greatest tech in your pocket. Your devices became extensions of your physical body. And with this new AI revolution, that concept is evolving yet again. And this time, artificial intelligence will allow technology to become an extension of our minds every facts guys i don't know about you but i'm out here using chat gpt to kind of add more tools to my investment skill set like it's ridiculous every time i'm just hypothesis hypothesizing and sitting up here creating a new strategy for investments whether it be passive or portfolio income i'm just utilizing chat gpt and leveraging the information and just almost chat gpting everything the term used to be Google, but it's almost an extension of my mind. And so it's a ridiculous life hack if you want to utilize it. But most people aren't using it like that. I'm definitely using it as an extension of my mind. Every time that technology crosses a new frontier, we see a restructuring in the hierarchy of corporations. App in the West X Mark. Here we go again. I definitely need to get the goddamn premium. I'm tired of these goddamn uh, advertisements coming out of nowhere. Let's get it ago, it was Apple and Samsung who rose to the top, while former titans like Microsoft and Nokia failed to compete in a changed market. So this is why artificial intelligence has brought us to the brink of an all-out war. This is one of those rare occasions for a transfer of wealth and power. We know that everyone is gunning to lead the AI revolution, but not everyone can win the race, and the cost of falling behind could be total annihilation. This is a war that will be fought by many players on many battlefields, but Elon Musk in particular has taken the unique approach of putting himself on as many of those front lines as possible. The first battlefield that we should examine is, of course, autonomous vehicles. Now, hold on. Before he jumps into that, who do you guys have your money on? Okay. Never bet on Elon. That's the motto. That's the slogan. That's the anthem. But get your damn hands up. But again, okay. This is where the AI journey for Elon and Tesla really started by trying to solve the self-driving problem. Tesla was far from the first company to shoot their shot at making a self-driving car. The initial autopilot hardware introduced in 2014 was based on a computer vision system developed by a company called Mobileye. It consisted of one camera mounted at the top of the windshield, a forward-facing radar unit, and 12 ultrasonic sensors around the perimeter of the vehicle. The Mobileye computer used AI neural networks to process input from the camera and navigate the vehicle. This did not work out very well. The relationship between the two companies exploded in the aftermath of a fatal Model S crash in 2016, with Mobileye accusing Tesla of being too reckless with the hardware and pushing it too far, while Tesla felt that the Mobileye hardware just wasn't good enough. So for 2017, Tesla introduced Hardware 2, now powered by an NVIDIA Drive GPU. This upped the camera count to 8 and improved performance, but it was still far from delivering on the promise of a driverless car. Now, most people don't know about mobile eye, and so mobile eye is still around, okay? So they didn't go anywhere. They're still in the game. 
In 2018, Tesla's director of artificial intelligence, Andre Carpathy, revealed that he had trained a new self-driving neural net that was so large, the NVIDIA hardware didn't have enough computational power to run it. So this is what gave way to Hardware 3, the first AI chip designed by Tesla and produced by Samsung. The cameras and sensors stayed the same, but the brain of the car received a massive update that was centered around artificial intelligence. And so see, at the time, NVIDIA wasn't up to date, so we had to go figure out our own situation and get produced by Samsung. So you guys see NVIDIA is always winning when they just created their moat. Teaching the car to drive like a person. As Tesla's camera vision-based neural net grew in capability, the company was able to gradually transition out the excess hardware, removing the forward-facing radar unit in 2021 and ditching the ultrasonic sensors in 2023, leaving behind nothing but the AI to navigate the driving environment. And this is what really separates Tesla from the competition. All self-driving cars use artificial intelligence, but Tesla is the only company that exclusively uses AI. All the rest now guys i want to highlight exclusively utilizes ai the rest of them use different types of sensory systems but he's going to explain it right here so that's the big difference now elon has his bets and his chips on he wants to truly solve autonomous driving in just autonomy period but he thinks and he believes that the way to do it is vision just like humans do it of the autonomous vehicle industry has branched off into a different approach that doubles down on the hardware sensors, specifically LiDAR, which is a laser system for measuring distances. Now, the LiDAR and radar approach does work. That's what you'll see on top of all these Waymo autonomous taxis, which actually can drive themselves without a person behind the wheel. But this also adds a lot of extra complexity and expense to the Waymo equipped vehicle. So that really prevents a system like this from ever being practical as a consumer product. No one is going to buy a car with all of that stuff on the roof, and this is why Tesla is currently winning the battle of the self-driving car. You can buy a Tesla vehicle right now for a- Now again, that's a debatable whether they're winning right now. You know, definitely Waymo is already on the roads. Tesla is not. So I wouldn't say that they're technically winning and I'm a Tesla investor, but here we go. Pretty reasonable price that has the latest cutting edge autopilot hardware and software that can drive autonomously most of the time in most locations. And you can use that as much as you want compared to a Waymo vehicle that can only be hailed as a taxi cab in certain areas of certain cities. That's just not really much of a competition. Now, definitely, that's where it's at right now currently. But again, even if, let's say Tesla is wrong in this case, right? Let's say Tesla did it the wrong way. I think that Tesla has more of the expertise in the actual technical know-how to redirect what they're doing meaning that they could change course and add LIDARs, especially now that they're actually creating the robo cab or the robo taxi, and they'll be producing a car that they could put LIDAR on, but they're more equipped to do that. Then let's say Tesla is right and Waymo's wrong about how to solve autonomous driving, then they can't shift. They don't know how to shift. It's going to be harder for them and they don't even mass produce their cars. And so even if they actually solve the formula and there's small locations that are geofenced and they want to expand, it's going to be an issue for them. I don't think they have the capacity to even produce those cars and make a mass amounts of number of them, but they don't have the expertise, but Tesla does. So if Elon ends up being wrong about LIDAR, he could just change course and change direction. Would it be too hard to implement a LIDAR on a robo taxi? I mean, he's the one who could create it at a low cost, right? Those people who have Waymo cars can't produce them at a low cost. They don't know how to, plus they don't have the infrastructure and the manufacturing to do so. So even if Elon is wrong about it, I think that he has the potential, the ability, and Tesla is in a perfect position to change course of Tesla's all-in approach to AI gives them the ability to transfer their existing neural nets over to similar real-world applications, such as autonomous humanoid robots. This has the potential to become the largest battlefield of them all, with the reason being that robot labor can replace human labor, which is essentially the foundation that our economy is built on. In theory, unlimited labor would lead to unlimited capital, but there is one big problem to overcome. The true value of a human being isn't our ability to lift things or put stuff together, it's our brain, our natural ability to reason and problem solve. That's what a genuinely useful humanoid robot needs to deliver. And again, this is where Tesla has managed to set themselves ahead of the pack. While many more established robot companies like Boston Dynamics spend a lot of time on making their robots do tricks, Tesla is focused on sending their robots to work. And that requires a combination of both exceptional mobility and highly advanced artificial intelligence.
Just like with the self-driving car, these humanoid robots will only reach their full potential when they are accessible to anyone who wants one, able to do any task in any location, and available in extremely large quantities. But the robots also need to be able to do one very important thing, talk. Large language models like ChatGPT are the primary avenue for most people to experience AI in their daily lives. Elon Musk may have helped found OpenAI, but he pulled out of the deal long before ChatGPT exploded into the world. But that hasn't stopped Elon from making a late entry into the language-based AI game. And this is one- And he's using Grok. So I think that Elon's still gonna be able to pivot and have that language model. And that's not a necessity in order for it to have the value in which we just spoke about, right? If it's still facilitating the factory duties and roles that it does, and it just doesn't talk until later phases, that's okay. Just like the actual semi trucks are very good and people could utilize them because they cut down on energy costs and maintenance. But at the end of the day, later on, FSD will come out. And so the same thing, the language model can be rolled out at a later point and it's completely fine if it's not perfect or as good, but definitely the physical aspects of it is necessary. You don't need factory workers or assembly line workers to talk too much. You need them to actually do. And the physicality is what they get paid for, not talking, they're not orators. And so again, I think that is massive amounts of potential. The AI war is going to be a lot of competition, but I don't believe on betting against Elon. I catch you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get this hot electricity. And I'll see you on the next one. It's electric. Boogie woogie.